Hallelujah. Let all the people praise them. Let all the people praise them. Hallelujah. But David said, unless the Lord builds the house, and they that build it labor in vain. Beloved, are you honoring God in your house? Whether you live in Jersey, Maryland, Delaware, Pennsylvania, wherever you come from, God has blessed this to be a regional ministry. Oh, bless his name. But my beloved, we must honor the Lord not only in our hearts, but we must honor him in our homes. We honor him by giving him praise, honor, and glory in our homes. We honor him by making sure that Jesus reigns in our house. We honor him by making sure the scripture is read to our children in our homes. We honor him by every time when we sit down to eat, somebody around the table will bless the food. Do I have a witness here? We honor him that when trouble come in your home, you won't push the panic button, but you will push the prayer button. For what a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. I believe in some of that old school doctrine that says a home that prays together will stay together. Anybody ever heard that before? Don't sit down like you never heard that. Mama told you that in Virginia, told you that in Alabama, Arkansas, down in South Carolina, Earl Green. I know they told you if you pray in the home, God will show up. I believe, I believe, I believe with all the violence in our city, all the youth crime in America. If we restore the home, the city will be better. If we teach our children not about Xbox, not about all them video game, but teach them the word of God. Do I have a witness here? Ain't nothing wrong with the Xbox. Ain't nothing wrong with the video game. Ain't nothing wrong with all that kind of thing. But if you're not teaching the word of, you ought not allow the TV to raise your children. You ought not allow Jay-Z to raise your children. You ought not allow Beyonce to raise your children. You ought not allow C-SPAN to raise your children. You got to be responsible. I'm a preacher like I feel it. You can give them a hundred dollar Nike shoes. You can put a gold chain around their neck. But what about a gold brain in their head? Can I preach it like I feel it? Wake your children up. Get that nappy head rascal out of the bed. Tell them to get on your knees and pray. Hallelujah. Tell them about the Lord. Tell them what God has done. If you don't do it, the drug dealer going to tell them something. If you don't do it, the pimp going to wipe them out. If you don't do it, the school going to put anything in their head. You've got to be responsible to put Jesus in your home. When the Lord is in your home, he'll teach you how to pray. When the Lord Lord is in your home, your marriages will be healed. When the Lord's in your home, your children will act right. Don't give them the belt, give them the Bible. Somebody talk to me, somebody. Come on and bless his name. Hallelujah. Levi invited him there to honor Jesus. He honored him in his heart. That's his spiritual home. He honored him by inviting him, Sister Bruinton, to his address. And then for the church, we got to honor God in the house. I mean, this house. Do I have a witness here? I said we got to honor him. What I'm talking about is on Sunday morning. Last week I was in New York City. I did two Martin Luther King days in, in Brooklyn and Queens on Saturday morning and Sunday morning. But uh, wow, every time I got up to speak, my mind was on this sanctuary. Well, 
Do I have a witness here? See, where your heart is where your home is. And your heart is where the Lord is. And I said that to tell you this, that when you worship God in your house, I don't know what's going on with all these other churches on the avenue in the city and so forth, but I know here, up in here at Canaan Church at 8 a.m. at 11 a.m. on Wednesday night at 7, 8, 7 p.m., the people of God are praising his name. When we come to church, hallelujah, somebody, we got to honor his name by lifting up his name high. Nobody care what you're wearing. Don't care if you match it. It don't make no difference. Don't care all that kind of thing. Those are material things. What matters on Sunday morning? Are you giving God glory? Are you giving Him praise? Are you honoring Him with your lips? Are you honoring Him with your hand? Hallelujah. Don't get so cold that you won't clap. Don't get so dry that you won't dance. Don't get so sophisticated that you won't shout. Don't don't get so holy that you won't holler hallelujah. God been too good to you. Kept you all week long. And when you come to church on Sunday morning, doesn't matter who's sitting next to somebody. All you want to do is lift his name up. Hallelujah, somebody. You ought to honor him right now. I know it's 9.05 on Sunday morning. But hallelujah, hallelujah. He's good all the time. I said he's good all the time. Come on and honor his name. Come on and bless him. Thank you, Lord. We ought to honor him right now. One more thing. I got two more things. Levi invited Jesus not only to honor him, but secondly, he wanted to publicize his new alliance. You see, he was a sinner. Everybody knew who he was. But he wanted to make known uh, that I got a new alliance. Uh, I ain't a tax collector no more. Uh, I'm not unethical no more. Uh, I'm a child of God. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, when you used to do what you used to do, uh, you didn't mind people knowing about it. Uh, but what about now? Uh, since you've been with Jesus, uh, don't you want to publicize uh, that you've been born again? Uh, shout hallelujah. Uh, he had a new alliance, uh, not with the Roman government, uh, but with Jesus. Uh, what are you saying, preacher? Uh, when you follow Jesus, uh, everybody ought to know uh, if you're on the Lord's side. Uh, when you follow Jesus, uh, folk ought to look at you uh, and see there's something new about you. When you follow Jesus, uh, he'll put clapping in your hands. Uh, he'll put running in your feet. Uh, shout hallelujah uh, when you follow Jesus uh, you don't need to put your light on a bushel uh, but let your light shine uh, this little light of mine uh, I'm gonna let it shine uh, everywhere I go uh, I'm gonna let it shine uh, anybody up in here uh, you don't mind publicizing uh, that you've been born again uh, don't care if you're a Democrat uh, Republican if you live in the city, if you live in the suburbs, if you're broke or disgusted, if you got plenty of money, it doesn't matter. Everybody that's been born again ought to let the world know. Shout amen. Hallelujah. One more thing. Jesus went into his home. Levi honor Jesus. Levi by publicize his relationship and third left the Bible says not only did Levi invite Jesus but he invited his friend to meet Jesus. Anybody in here this morning, you want your family to know your Jesus. You want your friends to know Jesus. I ask you a question. Anybody in here, you want your saved friends to know you love Jesus. But your sinner friends, they need to know Jesus. Hallelujah. Invite them over. 
I went to a thing the other morning. Me and the first lady with one of our great members and his wife. We went in there and had brunch. Members of the church were there. Wasn't no gossip in there. Wasn't no lying there. Wasn't no backbiting there. Because we were all on the one accord. Come on and bless his name. But you got some friends who need Jesus. The dope smokers need Jesus. The liars need Jesus. The backstabbers need Jesus. The winos need Jesus. The convicted need Jesus. The afflicted need Jesus. Hallelujah. They don't need us to talk about them, but they need us to give them Jesus. Yes, anybody here want to serve the Lord? Shout yet, shout glory. Are you glad he made a difference in your life? Shake somebody's hand and tell them since I met Jesus, he walks with me, he talks with me, he made a difference in my life life. Uh, shout yet. Uh, shout glory. Uh, glory. Uh, glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. What are you willing to give up to follow Jesus? Jesus says if any man come after me Deny yourself, your urge to be number one. Your craving to be selfish. Your agenda must take a back seat to the Lord's agenda. And follow Jesus. I'm going to ask you a question. Since you made that decision, has your life been different? Hallelujah! Yes. Amen. Mary Fitzgerald. Now here is the issue. Levi was obedient, and he got up and followed Jesus. The issue is not, can Jesus make a difference? The issue is, are you willing to pay the cost? Have you sold out? Hallelujah. Is your mind made up? As we stand on our feet and the deacons and ministers come as the choir sings, have you sold out? Come and follow Jesus. Hallelujah. Let all the people praise Him. Let all the people praise Him.